Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com back here with an AOKP ROM review for your Galaxy S3. Now this is for uh, just about every Galaxy S3, so that does include AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular, and Verizon. Uh, it does not support Sprint as, at the moment, uh, hopefully in the next build it should be supporting it. Uh, but this build is MR1 for build 2. So let's go ahead and take a look into settings of, of course, first of all. And um, you got 4.2.1 right there, build uh, MR1, build 2. And once you do keep tapping on this, you'll get that. And when you hold them down, you'll get a little jelly bean. So you know you're running on jelly bean, you know. <laughs> of course. And oh, actually, I want to show you one other neat thing. Uh, once you go on AOKP version and keep tapping that, you'll get the uh, Open King um, Unicorn. And then when you hold that down, you'll get the small ones. So that's a really nice feature. Not many other people know this or actually pay attention to this or even put this on their video, so I just wanted to mention that if you guys didn't know that, um, this is a really nice feature that, um, just, you know, nice to, nice to see and just know about a feature. So it's a really nice AOKP feature that, that's been there for a while now. Uh, I just want to tell you right now. And same with CM10, so I did my 10 and we'll work there too. So let's go into ROM control, that is where all the magic happens. Uh, general UI is where you're going to get the most uh, features and all that, of course. You got custom carrier label and all that, you know, let's go ahead and change it to, um, I don't know. TF9, you know, just make it quick, okay? And now it should be right there, TF9. You probably can't really see it, but it's there. Um, you got, you know, all this. I enabled a uh, vibrant expand, status bar, brightness slider, so you can go ahead and mess with that if you want. Um, what I really like about this part is enable to kill all button and recent RAM bar, and also 180 degree rotation, so you can actually do that, and it works. Yeah, so you can flip it over. <laughs> So I really like that feature, just in case if your phone's upside down, you don't have to turn your phone all the way around if you're going to use it for a quick second. And enable to kill all, just hold down the home button, and you have a kill all button, and it'll kill all, all the applications. And you can see how much RAM you're using and how much is free, just in case. And if you like kill an app, you know how much RAM it's using. Um, I think there's a slight problem with updating the RAM as it's not working. I know on my Nexus 4, I'm running AOKP on that one as well. Um, it works flawlessly on the Nexus 4, but it doesn't seem to be working properly on the Galaxy S3 uh, lineup. But that's alright, <laughs> they'll eventually fix it. I trust them. So let's go back to settings, um, RAM control once again. And let's go into navigation bar. Um, here you can do, you can't really do a lot of things just because ours is not the software keys. Now let me actually show you on the Nexus 4 um, the uh, software keys. Um, so as you can see, look uh, right down there. <laughs> Let me just zoom in. And right there, as you can see, you've got uh, the software keys. So you got your usual back button, home button, and um, option or you know, oh, your multitasking window. But also I added search bar and option menu right there. So that's a really nice feature that you don't really see uh, or you can't really get with the Galaxy S3, but it's really nice to have. And if you do have a Nexus 4 Galaxy Nexus, it's available for that one as well. So go ahead and take it. Uh, Get that one. I uh, get it for that <laughs> that phone too. <laughs> oh man, I'm just messing up everywhere. Um, so you can't really play a, uh, play around with the navigation bar just because we're on a Galaxy S3. So that's kind of out of the question, out of our, our um, range. <laughs> so um, let's go into power menu. You have stuff to do there, of course. You got screen shine, enable torch, and you have all these options now, which is really nice, easy to use. Um, battery, you have options. Um, actually, change it to the little circle one. Let me zoom in once again. And you have a little circle, but yeah, circle one now instead of the little um, rectangular battery icon. Um, I prefer the circle one, just my preference. If you really want to know, um, but you got battery lo battery location. We can do on um, top of nav bar. I don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make a difference. You can change the color, of course. Really nice. So um, that should only work with the normal one. Um, so, <laughs> let's just get out of there. <laughs> um, status bar toggles, which is really nice. You can enable which toggles you want. I enabled up a lot of them. I can even add some more. You have a ton of them. Uh, you can change how many are in per row. So, toggle order you can change how many per row. I put four, you can put five if you want. If you want them smaller and, you know, more condensed. Or you can even put them to three and you can, you'll, you can scroll through them. Which is really nice too. Um, one thing I forgot to show you in general UI was the widgets. I believe it was in here. Oh, actually, it's in lock screen. Sorry about that, guys. It's in lock screen. Um, once you go all the way down here, you have uh, options to allow all widgets and uh, allow, uh, allow unlimited widgets. So on your lock screen, of course, with 4.2.1, you get all the widgets. And when I turn on my Wi-Fi, it should work. 
here's my Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And as you can see, YouTube uh, application widget isn't working. I got my little uh, toggle um, widgets right there, clock widget, cameras, that's usual. Um, but you can add any one you want, uh, basically. So we can add any widget that you have. And if you download a widget from the Play Store, you can actually add this, um, uh, those widgets onto your lock screen. So let's choose the browser. All right, now I have my browser, you know? So that's pretty cool. There we go. Uh, now it's bigger. So now you have even more bookmarks, so that's cool. Um, so you can do a lot of things with these widgets. You can add any widget you want, possibly from the Play Store. Now, of course, some widgets will not fit properly, like this one. As you can see, it is cut off a little bit. Um, but that's all right. Um, most of these widgets do work pretty well, and they work. They fit pretty well, too. And just keep in mind, it may uh, make your phone a little bit slower if you add a ton of my ton, like I have. You know, I've added, like, what, six or five or six. So keep that in mind, but there is a hack to do unlimited widgets if you want to. Um, but that's basically a lowdown or a review of the AOKP um, ROM MR1 Build 2 uh, for your Galaxy S3. Go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, links down below for this ROM and more details on this ROM. Uh, that's basically look at it, the new features they added on this version and all that. Um, I actually got this wallpaper from the AOKP wallpaper section <laughs> and just get some from the servers. So you can just check it out if you want. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, links down below, like I mentioned earlier. And don't forget to hit me or uh, like me, add me, and uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. Everything that you need and I mentioned is down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, also, don't forget that subscribe button and like button in the bottom left hand corner, as that does really help me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.